Now out here, you have this basic drivers class which I had created yesterday and there were the different driver classes I explained you about. Okay, now what happens is if there is a separate driver class for every browser, okay, for Firefox browser there is a driver class, for Chrome browser there is a driver class, for iDriver there is Internet Explorer driver there is a driver class, okay, and over here if I write driver dot you will get the non-static functions for that particular class. Okay. If I write Chrome driver dot, you will get all the non-static functions. Okay. Right. Now, does that mean that for every driver class, you will have to remember the operations for example if I have to click on a link in edge and if I have to link if I have to click on a link in Chrome okay will the process be different if I have to write a script which works on all the browsers how will I write it I hope you are getting my point. For example, I'll create a new Java project day two. Okay, and I will add the jar files of Selenium. Okay, and I'll create a new class known as dynamic browsers okay right suppose if I write over here string browser is Mozilla then whatever script I am writing after this right should be executing on Mozilla if I change the browser name to Chrome then whatever script I am writing should be executed on Chrome. Okay, so how do we work with this? You can keep a condition that, for example, if browser is equal to Chrome, then Chrome driver. equals to new chrome drive All right else if the browser is equal to mozilla then firefox driver equals to new firefox drive or 
browser is out there hold on browser is equal to i then internet explorer driver i equals to new internet explorer. so you can work with this this way Okay, and how will I distinguish? Suppose if it is Chrome, then will I write say Chrome driver dot any static function? For example, if I have to close the browser, quit over here. Okay, quit will quit the browser. Firefox driver dot quit. Will I have to write code separately? for every driver in the if else block if i have to click on a link out here will i write the code to click separately for every driver the answer to this question lies in the concept of interfaces okay right for example i'll create a new interface okay and i will call that interface hello yes I cannot hear any noise. Do you guys hear any noise? Look, make sure that you don't have any electronic equipment near your speakers because everybody in the class is on mute. Okay, I cannot see anyone who's not on mute. So make sure that there is no interference with your speaker or something. Okay. So out here, I'll create a new interface known as a simple, for example, com la laptop. Okay, now what is an interface? I have created an interface. Okay, interface is interface is something which is like it tells what system does. Okay, for example. Uh, you go and buy a book from a bookstore. When you look at the book, the cover of the book is like an interface to you, which tells you what the book is all about. Okay. But you really don't know whether the book will be good or not. But that book gives you an idea that what it is about. Okay, so similarly, we have got interfaces in our application. Okay, in Java, interfaces tell what the system is supposed to do. Okay, right. Out here, out here, we have a laptop interface. It will have functions like 
पब्लिक वॉइड स्टार्ट पब्लिक वॉइड रिचार्ज ओके राइट एंड पब्लिक वॉइड शट डाउन इन अ इंटरफेस you just have the method declarations you don't have the bodies you just have the method names that's it that this is the laptop interface it is got function like start recharge and shut down okay there are no other function in this interface okay so If a layman looks at this interface, he will come to know that fine, a laptop has got these three functions, but how they are implemented and all, he will not be knowing. Okay. Right now, out here. we have this class we will create a new class known as say hp laptop okay and we will simply say that hp laptop implements the laptop interface okay hp laptop implement the laptop interface what do you mean by implementing an interface when a class implements an interface it becomes mandatory for it to implement all the functions in that interface in java that is why you are getting an error if you move the mouse over the error you will get a hold on auto suggestion that add the unimplemented methods so you have to add the unimplemented methods okay right you click on this and you will get the functions like start recharge and shut down over here yeah you you have non static functions inside the interface okay automatically they will come up right at the rate over right this sign this sign at the rate override is known as an annotation it tells us basically this at the rate override tells us that what an hp uh, sorry it, it tells us that the start function is coming up from the laptop interface okay this recharge function is coming up from the laptop interface all right at the rate override basically tells us this you can remove it it is not mandatory all right inside this you can simply print say hp laptop starting what is the use of interface i will come over to it in some time okay and 
puis laptop, j'attends. Ok. So, HP laptop. HP laptop class is implementing the laptop interface and it is implementing all the functions in that interface. All right. Now out here, I'll create a new class known as Lenovo laptop and I will write Lenovo laptop implements the interface laptop Okay, right. Now, out here, the same story will repeat. You will have to move the mouse over this error. Okay, and select the option add unimplemented methods. Okay, right. Now, out here, you can remove this and you can write Lenovo laptop starting and Lenovo laptop recharging and Lenovo laptop shutdown. So you will have these three functions. Okay. And Basically, I have created one class and I have put various functions in that particular class which are coming up from the laptop interface. Okay, all these functions are coming up from the laptop interface. All right, now You have to understand the structure. The structure is like this that I have created one interface and there are two classes. This is the laptop interface and HP laptop and Lenovo laptop are two laptop classes implementing the laptop interface. Okay, now out here, what is the use of this structure? If I have an interface and two classes are implementing the interface, all right, then you have functions in the interface which are implemented by these two classes. I could have never made the interface. Okay, I could have never made this particular interface. I could have just made two classes. The difference is that If tomorrow 
more number of classes they come in the system okay you have hp laptop lenovo laptop acer laptop sony laptop there are more classes which come into the system then will you go ahead and without interface you will make them with interface the advantage will be that the struct there will be a structure to an application if there are three functions in the laptop interface a b and c then in every class over here you will have three functions a b and c okay in hp laptop in lenovo laptop in every class you will have the same set of functions as they are there in the interface okay one minute guys just one minute yeah so every class will have the same functions this is the advantage okay so if you have an interface and if there are classes implementing the interface then all the classes implementing that interface will have the same function names as that in the interface the implementations can be different in start function of hp laptop i am writing i am writing hp laptop starting in start function of lenovo laptop i am writing lenovo laptop starting if i create a new class known as test.java and inside it i create the object of the class hp laptop okay right and i write over here l1 dot start l1 dot shutdown l1 dot recharge these will call the functions from the hp laptop class but obvious okay now out here if i do the same thing lenovo laptop and i write l2 dot start l2 dot recharge l2 dot shutdown these will call the functions from lenovo pretty simple but the function names are same okay in selenium if you go to the documentation of selenium i'll open the browser and go to the documentation look every time you don't have to go to the documentation using browser you can import the documentation in eclipse importing selenium documentation in eclipse is very easy you need to write selenium you need to go to the website selenium hq and out here Hold on. Out here, if you go to the download section, right, you will see hold on, you scroll down, you will see the Java doc link. okay and you copy this link copy the java doc link all right open up eclipse right and i am on the wrong workspace sorry and go to the properties of the project all right you will see the jar files in the java build path go to the main jar file of selenium which is client combined 3 dot something okay 
expand it, you will see the Java doc location. Double click on it and over here paste the URL. Remove index.html from the end. Please remove index.html from the end and click on OK. Right. And then again click on OK. All right. So what you will have, you will have the documentation imported inside Eclipse. Now, if I am creating object of Chrome driver on this line, if I, if I move my mouse over this Chrome driver, you will see the description. Okay, if I move my mouse over Firefox driver, you will see the description. All right. And if you write, say, Chrome driver dot, you will get all the functions under Chrome driver class. You can click on the function and the function description will come up. Okay, right. If you click on any of the links, the documentation itself will open up in Eclipse. All right, and you can switch over to Frames View. Okay. You switch over to frames view and you will see this page with all the classes out here. Okay, right. Now in Selenium, in the documentation, whatever is written in italics is the interface. For example, mouse. Mouse is an interface. Okay. Right. And in this interface, these are the functions. And these are the two implementing classes. Event firing mouse and remote mouse. Both of them will implement the mouse interface. If you scroll down, you will see the Hold on. Web driver. Web driver interface. Web driver is an interface. If anybody asks you what is web driver, technically web driver is an interface. And all the driver classes, Chrome driver, iDriver, Firefox, Opera, Safari, okay, Edge, Internet Explorer, all these driver classes, they are implementing the interface web driver. If you look at this interface, you will have lots of functions in this interface like close, find, element, get, okay, get the title of the web page. So all these functions are the part of these driver classes. So since all the driver classes, they are implementing the same interface, all of them will have the same set of functions. The names would be the same. Okay. If I am writing Chrome driver dot, you will get the functions in Chrome driver class. Okay. Right. And these functions, the names would be the same in case of Firefox driver, five Firefox driver dot. And in case of I also, the function names would be the same. Okay, right. So, all the driver classes, they are implementing the same interface. Their functions will be the same. But the question remains the same. That how do I write a dynamic? Oh, okay. Functions are same. Quit function is same for all the three drivers, but I have to quit Chrome separately, Firefox separately, and I separately. Now, how do you solve this problem? I don't want to call the quit function three times. I don't want to write a script which is different for Chrome, which is different for Mozilla, which is different for I. So what we do is that we
we go ahead and uh, use the concept of interface out here again okay now in test.java till now i have created the object of hp laptop separately and lenovo laptop separately what if i try to create object of interface okay if i write laptop l equals to new laptop okay right if i write laptop l equals to new laptop then does this make sense no this will throw you an error exception it will not because you cannot create the object of interface it is illegal it is illegal to create the object of an interface all right laptop is an interface okay and you cannot create the object of an interface because interface is incomplete okay interface is incomplete so you don't create it but what we can do we can draw right like this laptop l equals to new say lenovo laptop now this is a little different way out here i have created the object of lenovo laptop like this lenovo laptop l2 equals to new lenovo laptop the spelling mistake is there okay anyways out here i have created the object of lenovo laptop in a different manner i have written laptop l equals to new lenovo laptop that means the reference of an interface is equal to the object of the class implementing the interface okay right the reference is of the interface out here okay right so how is this different from this suppose in lenovo laptop we have an additional feature for example uh, fingerprint recognition this is a special feature in only in lenovo laptop it is not coming up from the laptop interface okay so this is a function which is proprietary to lenovo laptop it is not coming from the interface so out here in test.java i can call the function fingerprint recognition over here okay 
right and you create the object of Lenovo laptop over here and if I write L dot start I can we call the start function I can call the recharge function I can call the shutdown function but I cannot call the fingerprint function if you are creating the object of an interface or oh sorry object using this the ref using the reference of an interface okay pointing towards the class which is implementing the interface understand this carefully people they get confused this line is simple the reference is of the class and the object is of the class out here the object is of the class but the reference is of the interface which is being implemented by the class if you create an object like this you cannot call the proprietary functions okay you can only call the functions which are in the class and are coming from the interface like these three functions then what is the use of creating the object like this what is the use I'll come over to it I can also write say laptop L3 equals to new HP laptop and I can say L3 dot start suppose okay I will make a demarcation line okay right right and if I hold on out here I have created the object of HP laptop pointing it the L3 is the reference of the laptop interface ok right and L3 dot start function will call the start function in HP laptop now if I run this in the end it will say HP laptop starting okay right and if I write on this line L3 equals to new Lenovo laptop okay now I can make L3 which is the reference of laptop also point towards Lenovo laptop object and if I write L3 dot you can write start function okay right and L3 dot start will be over here and L3 dot start is also out here the start function will be is being called two times okay 
but once it is being called by the reference of hp laptop and like the reference pointing towards hp and other time to lenovo so if i run this code you will see that hp laptop starting will be printed first and then lenovo laptop the command is same but l3 command is same but l3 i'm making it point towards hp laptop and then i'm making l3 point towards lenovo laptop okay right yeah because l3 is the reference of laptop right laptop laptop reference can point towards any object either lenovo or hp anything yes yeah you can say something like that so same reference you can point towards different object no 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 not to the case thank you now similar thing happens in selenium till now we have created the objects guys please keep your microphones on mute okay i request you yeah no don't go and into inheritance this is not inheritance this is not at all inheritance you can say that you can say the in a way but i have not come over to inheritance right so i come over to it alex okay no you cannot no no there are, there is a different way to do that that is known as object casting okay i'll talk about it just be with me okay yeah so yeah no you did not write functions just need to call the function using the same reference yeah i cannot understand you yes yeah internal is the yes okay the start function for lenovo will be different than start function yes 
Yes, common name. So now, in Selenium, we have got say Firefox driver. You create the object of Firefox driver like this. You create object of Chrome driver like this. Now, all the driver classes, they are implementing the web driver interface. I just told you. So you can also create the object like this, web driver, dr1 equals to new. Firefox driver ok and web driver dr2 equals to new chrome driver it depends on you so whatever are the functions inside the web driver interface they the imp implemented functions in Firefox driver they can be called with dr1 Okay, now what we can do is that we can be a little smart. We can declare that web driver say driver equals to null. That means the driver reference of the web driver interface is not pointing anywhere. Okay, right, the reference of this interface is not pointing anywhere. Based on your choice, you can make driver point towards Firefox driver or you can make driver point towards Chrome driver or I driver or Edge driver. Sorry. It's completely up to you. Okay. Based on your choice, you can make the driver point towards the respective implementing class. All right. And in the class dynamic browsers. Alright, what we can do is that we can remove this code now. I will remove this code and I will write over here say web driver driver equals to okay based on my choice if it is chrome I will make driver point towards chrome driver or I will make driver point towards Firefox driver or equals to Internet Explorer driver and over here once the driver is initialized out here driver is initialized the functions will be the same because the functions are coming from the web driver interface inside the driver classes so functions will be the same over here maybe you can write driver.get get means go to some website say http yahoo.com and print the title of the page that is driver dot get title so when you run this code You will see that the browser opens. It goes to the web page and Yahoo web page opens up. Okay, right. And Yahoo is written over here. Okay, right, so I hope, I hope you got my point. Uh, 
know that is parallel execution that is done through grid not this way okay tomorrow if i change the browser to mozilla over here okay then mozilla will open and go to yahoo.com What's the need of the NFLs? You just create three objects then. Driver 1, driver 2, driver 3. Make driver 1.2 hertz chrome, driver 2 to Firefox, and driver 3 to I. Okay. We generally don't do that. When you, when you study test ng, you will get your answer. You can do that, what you are saying. When you will study test ng, you will come to know how to do this. Okay. On the 15th or 16th day, I will start with test engine. That means on for your weekend batch, it's around 7th day or something. Okay. So, this is how it works. That is why you are using Eclipse. Eclipse does it. Okay, it's an inbuilt feature in Eclipse. It compiles the project, it compiles the Java files, converts them into the class files, and executes the class files. Okay. Don't go in that direction, you will get lost. That's a huge thing. Okay, so people have just made Eclipse for your understanding to make your work easy. Okay, so just concentrate here because that is a different world in itself. That how do you connect with these jars and things? That's it. No, you don't need to do that. I told you, everything is inbuilt. You don't need to understand that what this command is doing. How is it launching the browser? You don't need to understand that. Okay. So let's do one thing. Uh, 